Hello and welcome everybody. This is the Howling of Frankfurt. I am of course your storyteller Ian. I am joining of Frankfurt. I am of course your storyteller Ian. I am joined by Envy Rose. That's Kita. Nappy Kitty. That's Tommy. Pooter. Jackson. And Vincent. As Cedric. So I'll go ahead and hit us with the recap. Last time there was a spider. Ophelia saw the spider. Ophelia you freaked out, threw a Molotov, set the house across the street on fire, and then ran away, and the spider leapt into the living room, and now it is brawl on time. That about cover it? Anybody want to add anything extra? See spider um, light it on fire, that's kind of a standard response, right? <laughs> Stay tuned for the abridged series where we say, Oh my god, spider, and I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, not only that, it was a large enough spider that you were like, gotta burn the whole house down. Oh. A reasonable response. Yep. All right. The firefighters and popos over here now. That's not good. So, I'm going to need everybody to roll me a initiative check. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, uh, hold on. My... What stance was I in last time, Dolly? Mm. No, you had you had shift shifted back to his shoe because you were ta uh, you were talking with Nora. Okay. So you would have had to have been in his shoe. I'm still Erhan. Um. For for the listeners, what do you roll for initiative again? That is a. It's right underneath where it says initiative. The, the number is the. All right, number. listen here. Listen here, you. Issue second page. Yeah, okay. Is, is he's asking, um, is that how many dice or is that? Yes. That? It's two dice. Oh, I actually miscounted my dice. How about that. Ooh, I have six. So it's a row two die? No. Whatever your initiative mod is, is the number of dice you roll. Yeah, it's going to be uh, zero successes. For you or Ophelia? Uh, oh, dear God. Why is her initiative so high? I got one success. Probably high speed. Okay. I need to roll d20s. Sorry, I'm like so off of it right now. Uh, You have to roll d10s. Okay, thank you. For... For Ophelia, that's three successes, four successes. Okay. Uh, you had zero, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm more of a thinker versus a reactor. Makes sense. Uh, Pooter. Zero. Okay. You two can sort whether uh, Peter goes before you or not. That doesn't matter. Well, ladies first, of course. Be my guest. <laughs> Ow. Um, yes. Two successes. Oh, that works out. Quite confident about being a woman. <laughs> Alrighty. So that means Ophelia gets the first maneuver. Um. Uh, hmm. So this. What did she do here? This would be the uh, point right at. Um, the spider was able to squeeze itself in between her and the door frame and leap in front of her. So the spider would be directly in front of her in the living room. Oh, so we're in our house. We're not. The yes. Room. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what is Maw of Madness? Maw of Madness. Uh, that influences her bite attack. Um, does anybody have the. Uh... I have the book. I'm trying to find it. My book is not loading right now. Here we go. It's a purity wolf gift. Yeah. Mob madness. Uh, reflexive action. Uh, spend one essence. When the Uratha successfully inflicts damage with a bite on a living target that is not Uratha, uh, the victim suffers the moon taint condition. Yeah, okay. 
the moon taint the moon taint condition uh, means other than laughter no i was just thinking this sounds like a dictionary where you find the description for something and it leaves you into another definition <laughs> Your character warping taint of Luna from time to time, skin crawls. Okay, basically it's poisoned. Well, that's not going to help us. Because uh, it's a spider. <laughs> yeah, it's going to have a very high toxicity uh, resist. Despite that not being how poison and toxicity works. Yeah. I know games. <laughs> games don't care. <laughs> no. Toxin venom all the same. Yeah, unfortunately. No, it's not. And I'm, uh, You're really tired. You're twitching as our look. I'm already two cups of coffee into today. Okay, I don't. I don't... His heart's gonna explode. You're getting a little twitchy over there. If I if I drink any more <laughs> coffee, I'm if I drink any more coffee, I'm gonna need a sponsorship to go with it. No. Um. <laughs> so we're gonna I ignore that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what any of these gifts and stuff do. So she was in Erhan, I believe, at the time. Yes, for uh, the biggest speed boost without causing lunacy, yes. So it wasn't ludicrous speed. No, not quite. No. All right. Uh, so we're just going to go. We're going to sweep the leg. Sweep or the bite leg. the leg. Okay. We're, we're, so that's going to be um, your strength plus brawl. Ah. So what would dex plus brawl be? Dex pr have a dex merit? Let's assume that strength is not really her forte. <laughs> <laughs> Dexterity is usually used in firearms and certain weaponries. Oh, yeah. There's a specific merit you need to use Dex as a physical attack. There's a chance she has it. What's but... what's the merit that you're looking at? That might be it. No. Okay. Uh, where's the? She doesn't have anything listed for merits. So... The merit is called. Where is it? Fighting finesse that lets you use Dex instead of strength. Ah, well, never mind. Never mind. That was that was a disappointment. Um, I mean, you. I guess what she do is, huh? I was gonna say she could still try to bite. I mean, he's not gonna apply his defense to her. So, could I use my crafts automotive to hit them with a car? <laughs> not our car. Please, not my car. And not in my house. <laughs> Betty's not even fixed yet, isn't it? Still in parts. Yes. Uh, yeah. Last time I let anybody touch my car. <laughs> right. So it's not uh, like you let her. She just did it. I, I let her. I could have done something. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So we're gonna do. We're just gonna rush. That's the whole three dice. Okay. Uh no. No, but it's with the intent to like go past. Okay, so she, she moves around essentially to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Darting around being a distraction. Mm -hmm. All right. Since she's, um, is Ophelia going to apply her defense to this attack? Whatever defense that is, we'll say yes. Uh, it would be on the second page, Urhan. It'll have a defense amount. It's not going to help, but sure. It reduces their dice pool. Yeah. What's the number? Oh, three. Okay. That's minus three dice from my roll. Plus 15. Not quite. And she did. Uh, she takes three points as le of lethal damage as you notice one of its uh, spider-like forelegs looks essentially like a scythe made from bone and it strikes out, cutting into her um, long ways. Okay. That's three X's. Yep, three X's going from left to right. 
Okay. Next. Right, well, after taking that, she's going to use the remainder of her movement to uh, head upstairs. Okay. So she's disembarking. Okay. Um, More like disemhowling, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the two successes? Me. Tori, your go. Um, so we got a spider in a house. <laughs> Get rid of it. I'm an Urhan. How tall is this thing, Ian? This thing is about the same size as a Garu. So we're talking eight, nine feet tall if it's standing up straight. Yeah. I ain't got nothing in the height department. Well, you're a wolf. Okay, the last box uh, is very simple. Just Sorry, I'm... I'm... Mm. Yeah. So, in Urhan, I would like to apply, I'm going to just wing it, um, Intimidation, so it can just keep its eyes off of Ophelia, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to, uh, what are you going to say to it, and I would need you to roll, well, you're speaking in first tongue, it can understand first tongue, so that's not an issue. Um, that would be... Strength versus, um, or strength, intimidation, and you would take, uh, your penalty. Okay, hold on. Um, my strength is three. Okay. And my intimidation <coughs> is four. So that's a... And then, because... I, I'm giving you a minus three... Uh, because you're in Urhan, you can't really speak. You can speak first tongue, but it's broken once again. Come on. This is, I mean, you could, gr I, if you want to growl, but it's not, that's not really an intimidation for a gigantic spider monster. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I was thinking so hard. I look like. You know, I'm, I'm not going to argue it. I'll just take what I can get. <laughs> so that would be uh, four die, correct? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And hold on, I need to get to my little roll page thingy. So four d10s? Yes. Eight or above. I only got one success. All right, and then it would roll composure versus... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have that. Okay. It's on its side. Do I have any other skills that can apply to a preacher? This? I mean... <laughs> Not really. Um, and it, it kind of just looks at you, or it looks at you and kind of just shakes its head. Um, yeah. Melina, it's your go. Uh, I want to turn Dalu. Okay. And I want to run and what's the word I'm looking for? Lunge at her. I want to bite her down. Oh, you you want to bite? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's going to be your strength plus uh brawl. Uh, you wouldn't get your Muay Thai on this. That's fine. I understand that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and um, it is going to apply its defense to you, so uh, that's minus five die. Okay, so then it'll just be six, two, four, six. I got, ooh, okay. I got four successes, two rerolls. Ooh. Uh, Peter, real quick. Bite for or bite for Dalu is uh, lethal damage, correct? It should nothing, okay. Nothing on the reroll, so it's just four success. Yes. Okay, plus zero lethal. Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay. Uh, you're you're able to get a hold of it, and you bite hard into one of its legs, and you hear the the chitinous hide crack underneath your jaws, and you feel the blood-like ichor flow out of its leg into your mouth and it kind of stumbles backward a little bit crooked because of where you bit it 
but it's still standing and it still looks like it's fairly capable of fighting. It's just that extra leg that you bit is probably not going to be of much use for a while. <laughs> and you have uh, its kind of greenish, reddish blood dripping from your mouth onto your glorious beard <laughs> in, in Dalu form. Ew, Tommy, we don't eat crazy. Uh, Hooter. Me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to run up to it and then I'm going to transform into Urshel using tactical shifting the 2.1 broaden. Okay. When I increase quickly in size, I force the nearby opponents to move or push back. So when they're in close combat range, if he doesn't dodge, he gets bashing damage equal to the difference in size. And he has to make a dex plus athletics roll or be knocked down. Okay, so dex plus athletics. Okay, he's... Got... Yeah, he does automatically take one bashing damage. Okay, and um, what is your size as Urshel? Six. Uh, what if size is the same? It's the difference between my size. Okay, okay, and that's uh, one difference, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, athletics versus dexterity. Uh, do you have to roll anything? Is it an opposed... It just says anyone who takes damage must make a dex plus athletics roll or suffer the knockdown tilt. So any success and he stays up, I suppose. Three successes, so he stays up, but he does get knocked back still. Right. So he's, he stumbles back and hits uh, his back hits the uh, far wall. All right. So then I will lunge him in Urshel and bite him. Okay. So that's going to be... He's going... He can't apply his full defense, but uh, he'll apply four of his defense at this time because he already applied his full. Okay. So it's strength is four, brawl is three, that's seven dice. Um, minus four. Seven, okay. So minus four. So three dice. Yeah. And uh, no success. As you try to bite, he 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 twists his body, even though he's against, or he uses his arms, his spider legs on the wall to kind of uh, crab walk on the wall, avoiding your bite. Okay. Oh, that's creepy. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not creepy anymore now that you did that. <laughs> Josh, your go. All right. So you know that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Discord took a good three seconds to bleep and tell me that I was able to speak. Um, so you know that, uh, you know all that tea I've been working on? Mm -hmm. Funny thing about tea, it requires water. So since I have an abundance of it on hand, I'd like to utilize it. Okay. Also, while, also while very, very carefully opening up the full faucet, because I'm in the kitchen. Yes. And I'd like to go for, I'd like to use Manipulate, which I believe is the first version. Tier 2, yeah. Tier 2? Yeah. And what's Tier 1 again? Tier 1 is Strengthen. Okay. Well, I guess I have to use both then. Okay, so uh, normally you would do Strengthen first. What are you doing with it? And that's one point of essence for Strengthen. Uh, I'd like to harden it. Well, I guess not necessarily harden it. I want to create a water jet, like the, the type you used to drill with. I basically want to drill saw blade this thing by the legs. Yo. Okay. Um, that I would say is actually, uh, you wouldn't do uh, one for that. You would do manipulate and you would just increase the pressure um, and redirect it. So yeah. yeah sure. So how many points? That's two essence. Okay. So I'll just check off of that. Yep. And uh, I'm going to do this in kind of a crisscross pattern parallel to its legs. So kind of aiming for basically aiming for the legs. 
Okay, so that's going to be your Wisdom Renown. I know uh, Occult, and what else uh, is your dice pool for um, Heart of Water? I know I have a lot of it. Like, this yeah. this is my character's thing. So it's, I believe it's Manipulation. Manipulation, I don't even see Wisdom. Wisdom is a Renown. That'll be in, like, the middle of the front page. Okay. Ah, so that's five, three, four, yeah, nine, twelve. Twelve dice. Nice. Yep. Um it cannot apply it can apply three of its defense to you. So uh three defense here. So just minus whatever you're nine dice. Yeah, that's still a considerable Six, amount. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, dice rolling ASMR go. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> okay, seven lethal damage. Okay, um, hold on. Give me one moment. We got a waterbender. <laughs> and it's just coming out of his, out of his hand. He's got it kind of... He's got both, uh, he's got his finger, or he's got his thumbs together and his index fingers together, and he's kind of making like a triangle shape as it's seemingly focusing from that point. Okay, so you crack. You hear the cracking sound of the hide, and not only are the, are like the exoskeleton, for lack of a better term, breaking off of its legs. Uh, But some of the water does hit the human torso and just rips through it. So it's got all of its skin ripped off. It's got meat hanging from it, flayed from the skeleton, quite literally. Uh, This thing's looking extremely beat up. Um, (laughs) um, Some of the water does hit the side of the house. I gotta do something here. Eh, it'll just knock out some sheetrock, I'm sure. Um, the wall that it happens to be on, about halfway up, is actually wood. So you actually have, the water has cut into that wood. It hasn't bit into, the, like, the structural part of the wall, though, because these uh, wood blocks were actually placed on top of the wall. So it cut into the wood blocks there. But didn't actually go into, like, the structural integrity of the house. This was an aesthetic choice for the house. All right, so Ophelia would be ne- up next. Um, if yeah, she- she's coming back. Okay, she is coming back. Okay. Yep. Um, hearing the water spraying, that's her cue to open up with some throwing knives. From where? Upstairs. She just comes down. She just went up a story know, to but when, break how, visual. Where did you get knives from? Um, her, her certain c- lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my teacher. <laughs> Anyways, you said it's good cutlery. Yep. We're about yeah. to find out how the steak knives are. Yep. Okay. So, so that would be weaponry plus dexterity. Um. Since she did break line of sight, um, actually go ahead and roll... Before you roll the attack, uh, roll me stealth plus dexterity. Three, four, five, six. One, two, two successes. One success. So uh, he doesn't realize she's come back down. So now go ahead and give me the weaponry plus... Um, dexterity plus her proficiency with um, knives and he doesn't get any of his defense for this um hmm I don't think knives were a known pick here so we'll just go with uh I thought she had uh, in this version I've got you're, you're free to take a look but in, see if it's different on your end no, she doesn't. Okay, so it would just be dexterity then. Mine it. And, a, and a willpower to counter the lack of other things. Yeah, so that would be 
four dexterity, three will or three dice from willpower minus one. So that's a total of six die. Yep. All right. I really thought she had throwing knives. My uh, bad. One success. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This is five dice. Sorry. Or was it? Run those numbers by me again. It was four plus three. So it should have been six. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Okay, one more. So two successes. Okay. Uh, these knives sink deeply into the swollen abdomen. And one of them kind of goes... is thrown hard enough to actually go clean through. And you can see, like, this, vicu or this viscous uh, white liquid start to ooze out of its abdomen the liquid wind? you say hmm. not water um <laughs> water ish it's Watery. it's what they use to spin their um silk so it's more like a protein serum <laughs> liquid spider uh. it, it's what they uh spin together to make their silk in their spinnerets Save yeah. it, we could be Spider Man. We save it, we can throw it on George. <laughs> um, all right. This is actually going to go by much more quickly. Um, Jack, you are the closest one to it since you bowled it. Okay. Uh, it is going to attack you uh, as viciously as it can. Um, what's your defense? Uh, defense as Urshel is five. Okay, so minus five dice. It is burning a point of willpower, as I stated, viciously. <laughs> and it is going to burn a point of essence here. So it goes down to four. Fourteen. Three successes, two re-rolls. Three successes. All right, right before your eyes, the gigantic leg-like scythes that it has, all of a sudden you just see one become immediately serrated as it strikes you across the body, raking the serration across. Please take three points of aggravated damage. Ay, caramba, okay. Pinned in the wall because of the knives? Oh, man. Okay. So, um... And it just, as it pulls its arm back, you can see chunks of your flesh hanging and, you know, falling off of its scythe-like arm. I need those. Give those back. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. Uh... So he's pinned? Um, no, he's not pinned. Uh, he's, he's had knives thrown into him, and he's had high-pressured water. Uh, he, he's been pressure washed. <laughs> <laughs> he's been cleaned? He's, he, he's clean. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, how weak does it look? He looks shredded to hell, but it's at the point where he knows he can't run. He's got to fight to the death. Okay, I want to lunge again, but this time I want to try to rip its head. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be like, I'm going to try to dig my claws into its neck and just, you know. Okay, that's going to be strength plus brawl uh, minus Five, yeah, because he doesn't because of uh, the way they work. They don't get wound penalties. Oh yeah. Otherwise, he would have a wound penalty. <laughs> Definitely. All right, got two success, one reroll, three successes. Nice. Okay. Uh, hey, good job, dice. They like me today. <laughs> Okay. 
All right. Um, if it's not enough to like rip, then I would assume enough to just jab my claws into its neck. You very clearly took his head off, or very nearly took his head off. So you dug your claws into his neck and you stripped all the flesh from the human neck uh, to the point where it's, you literally see the white of the spine of the neck. Um, blood is dripping. The next purse, uh, Tori. Yes. Your go. Wait, okay, to be specific, you said um, <laughs> it's human neck. So is there, is this like a two-headed creature thing? Like No, it's a hybrid. It's got spider legs coming out of a human body. Think Doc Ock. Yeah, that's fairly good. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad representation. For the viewers, too. <laughs> I would like to apply my strength to lunge forward towards him and to finish you said his head is clearly off or nearly off nearly off um that's going to be strength plus brawl and for urshal that means you get oh wait you're an urhan sorry your teeth okay so yeah that's strength plus um brawl so i've got three strength three brawl so that's six plus that's it oh okay and minus four Nice. For its defense. Aww. Okay. So just two. Yeah. Fair. But, man. You know, I just want to try to just take the rest of it off clean and just, like, put my whole force into it. Really. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. Well, <laughs> give me the roll. Okay. I got two successes. Woo! Yay! As you lunge forward, you bite into the bone, severing it completely. The human body and the legs go limp. In the next second, hundreds of spiders start pouring out of the human body. They, they start fleeing as fast as they can, digging into anything in between the floorboards, in, into the walls as fast as they can. Um, Storyteller, am I next? An initiative by... Um, it would either be you or Pooter, but... Mind if I handle this? How about it? <laughs> so all that water I spilled everywhere? Yes. I'm going to manipulate it all into a single orb to trap the spiders. Okay. Uh... And just drown them out. Okay. Um... So... If I can. That's, that's my intention. Well, I... I spilled water everywhere. Yeah, I... Right. How, more my question is is how are you making sure that you get all the spiders in that water or are you just or are you just assuming that there's enough water that pretty much the entire floor is coated and the wall well, obviously I'm turning it all into ice so they can't just walk through it and I'm just going to create a giant ice ball okay uh, so that would be this isn't technically combat anymore since the thing is dead um, so that's going to be three points of essence, one for, sh uh, strengthen, which allows you to manipulate the water to ice and then manipulate. All right. And then I just, you, you just see everything get really cold and I just bring my hand together all presumably as many of the spiders as, you know, up to GM fiat, uh, just colla coalesce into a frozen block of ice in the middle of the room where the corpse once was now, I'm going to say you got all of them that was a very unique thing so you now have a gigantic block of ice full of spiders uh, in suspended animation at this point I will I would say Ced, uh, Cedric walks out of the kitchen and goes water not as clumsy or random as fire an elegant element for more Civilized age. <laughs> oh. All right. So, um, you guys have finished combat. Um, I believe we have a fire to put out. Yeah, across the street, the house. No oh, crap. Has yes, it, it's it's burning. Um, this combat was actually fairly quick. It was only a couple of minutes long. 
you guys made short work of this, so the house hasn't, like, completely burned down yet. Well, that might be enough ice to melt and take out the fire. All right, water guy. <laughs> Wait, so you're going to throw the ice at the fire with all the spiders in it? Presumably the spiders would then fall into said fire. Would that work? Um, With the amount of ice, it would melt slowly. Enough that water vapor would probably... Yeah, I kill all the spiders. Just because I'm not like a science major, I can't 100% say with scientific accuracy, yes, but I would allow it in this situation. I would say it would. Can you like crack the ice and grind it into itself to crush all the spiders and then go throw it over there? I'm afraid I'd need a little more essence. Oh. Yeah, he already burned a good portion of his essence. Yeah. <laughs> Which, as much as I would love to... Wait, we can't use this. I'm just going to leave the ice cube there. Uh, I need this for other things. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. The sudden realization of, as a player, I don't have the essence. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm going to be having arachnid on the rocks for the next couple of days. Uh... Crunchy. Yum. Mm. So there's a fire over there. We should probably water hoses. It. Go. Yes. <laughs> Do we have a fire extinguisher in this house? Uh, yeah, uh, that's up to you guys. I would assume George had. <laughs> around. It's yeah. We're hazardous. <laughs> We're hazardous beings. I'll, I'll start looking around for one. You're able to find one. <laughs> I assume putting out a fire is going to take more than one essence. Probably, yeah. Right, well, there is a fire hydrant to, that you could, you know, kick over. Or just call the fire department. Yeah. Is that anyone we care about across the road? No. Nobody. Just call the fire department. Yeah, nobody even knows who lives there. It is lived in. Like, somebody does live there, but it's just screaming no but this is this is l mid late day so you know could be at work uh so what are your guys' plans now that the spy has been killed um like i said arachnid on the rocks uh tell me i don't suppose you have any whiskey on hand this is not the time. <laughs> no, this is exact. All right. Look, I'm going to need more essence for what I have planned to take out this, to take out the queen spider queen. Yes. Okay. Which means, and I look at, I look at all the ice. Um, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water, I guess. <clears throat> well, it's probably going to be on her way. Cause we killed her spy. Yes, um, I would say most of our. We probably should start calling everybody. To come. Yeah, start call them in. Say that we were attacked, and uh, yeah, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> and uh, you can tell. What was her name? Vanessa. Mm -hmm. You can tell her that is exactly what I said. <sighs> All right, can I just say that we called everybody that it's go time? Like, or does, do we have to role play every single phone call? Uh, no, you don't need to role play every single phone call. Um, what's actually going to happen is when you call George specifically, uh, he goes, we're going to put a pin in this for a second. I need everybody to meet me at the location where the hive is on the flesh side i have some gifts and that's when he clicks the line um he's bringing good tidings i hope i'm just in wolf form chowing down on ice at this point just ice yeah. cubes <laughs> <laughs> You did good, so I'm not even gonna 
<laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> and with that, um, you all see traveling roots uh, kind of meandering about the living room. He looks much fuller, much, the tree on his back has grown sturdier. He looks even larger, so to speak. Uh, you can assume that this fight has infused um, the power that these other two werewolves have into him, meaning that the bond is complete. We have big roots. Roots, you're looking good. <laughs> if I could take a picture, I would. <laughs> Um, I don't remember healing aggravated. Is that something I could do with essence, or I gotta wait that out? That is once every four days. Okay. So not something I could do with essence. No. Okay. Just <laughs> don't <to> remember. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, I'm assuming. I know at least Tommy's heading out to where the warehouse one or warehouse once stood. Where you guys bottle, battled the claim and you first encountered uh, the spiders. Was it this one? Or just one like it? Uh, out of game, it is the same one, but... Um, anyways, uh, who else is going with Tommy? I am going. Um, Ophelia's going to stay behind and cover me. I'm going to leave my battle plan that I drew up, that Cedric drew up. Uh, I'm going to give that to Tommy. Okay, sounds good. So you two are staying behind? Yeah. I just, Look, I got to eat this thing. <laughs> do I have to eat... Question, do I have to eat all of them, or do I just have to eat the one? Um, realistically, there's only one you would have to eat, but uh, you don't know which one that is, and there's no way to tell. Until we get weapons. World's worst lottery. Uh, <laughs> wait, could I actually? Good question. Could I tell with my occult powers? No. Darn. Um, also, good news for you. Um, it is a well known fact that you guys have a gigantic freezer in the back. Yeah. For one of the. Because this is a uh, small town, and personally. It's the house I used to live in, and I know there's a gigantic freezer on the back porch that's meant to hold, like, deer carcasses. Ooh. <laughs> so, I mean, if you don't want to eat it in one sitting, you do have a place to store it. I don't know how much time we have, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll do as much as I can. Like I said, I'm leaving the particulars of that up to the storyteller. Needless to say, my goal is to consume this thing. One way or another. Okay. <laughs> so, so why are you trying to eat it? Um, cause... Yeah. Um, they're very much like werewolves in that you can consume them for essence. So even the normal spiders? They still have essence. Okay. Or at least the main host does. The one that has the spirit shard. Okay, well, I figured um, he would eat until he felt himself get essence and he would know oh, that's the shard yeah well yep that's the one i feel the power raging inside me oh no wait that's just that's just the bladder i'll be right back <laughs> all right uh Keita, are you going with them uh yes yeah, so Keita blacked out so we have cedric about to eat a spider and tommy and jack are leaving yeah we're going to the white house where or where the warehouse once stood because they called um George and George basically stated he has stuff ready. Mm. You don't have to go if you don't feel comfortable. You can stay with Cedric and Ophelia. You can get rid of the body that's, you know, lying in our living room, the big yeah, one. You mean the giant block of ice? <laughs> no, that's for the little one. I meant the, the the big body that you tore the head off of. No, that exploded. Yeah, that exploded into the spiders. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. Yeah. I thought it exploded they, and the spiders came out, leaving they chunks. They clean up slash eat the spiders or go and see George. Ugh. <laughs> I, don't like I mean, either way. 
Maybe you could help Ophelia with her bleeding. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go and help her. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna change back the history and you know help Ophelia. All right. How much daylight is there? Uh, this is going to be the last bit of daylight uh, that you guys have. So essentially after this, it's going to be the day's end and you guys are going to want to rest for the night. I'm wondering if we can just go Urhan and run over there because we don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's with it. You could do that and you would still get there in time. Okay, is it dark enough for us to like be a little, you know, oh look, giant dog's running. <laughs> Put a collar on. That works. No. <laughs> All right. So you guys take off. Um, Tor or um, Kita is bandaging Ophelia's wounds and crunching on ice is what C Cedric's doing. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys arrive, uh, you guys see. You don't see the glitter fangs there. You see the Ebon Shadows. You see three members that you don't recognize. You've never had any dealings with these people. You see a bunch of people dressed around in like priests' outfits and robes. You assume those are part of Ben's pack. Um, you see Ben, and you see two members of the Ivory Claws, one of them being George. He, he extends his arms out. Tommy, come here, come here, come here. Uh, you know, gesturing you to come in for a hug. Mm, I turn back to Hishu, but I kind of walk hesitantly. He, he wraps his one arm around you and then gestures out with the other arm at a gigantic convoy. It looks to be, allowed, looks to be about four to five uh, semi-trucks. And he goes, you've been such a good friend, I bring you these. And then you see several of his, or the couple members of his pack and several others, the ones that you don't know, lift up the gates. And what you see are just truck beds, semi-truck beds full of what appear to be Vietnam War um, armaments. What the heck? What? <laughs> Grand ping intensifies. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They're, they're army trucks filled with... They're semi-trucks. They're commercial semi-trucks filled with Vietnam War uh, weapons. Yes. Four of them. I look at him and I say, do I have to call you daddy now? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. You've done every, you've proven yourself more of a friend than I could have ever thought, especially for a forsaken. Huh. I wonder how awkward it would have been if I was just standing there chewing through an ice cube that's got spiders in it. <laughs> like, what is that? Don't worry about it. Halloween special. <laughs> So, you know, actually, I'll, I'll discuss that in a moment. Um, he goes, and I'm going to give you first pick. You can go through all four of these and get, your, get first dibs. You can take pictures and send it to your pack if you think anybody there knows anything about guns better than you. I realize maybe guns aren't necessarily your thing. Um... We have an assortment of grenades, rifles, sidearms. Uh, who are you sending them to? Who do you think knows more about guns? Uh, who would know more about guns? Oh, doesn't Ophelia know about guns? Nope. Well, you wouldn't really know. So, I mean, you could just be sending it to them so they have an idea. Mass email. Uh, mass text. There you go. I was just... <laughs> Send them all. <laughs> One giant group text. So there are, there are a couple of bazookas. Uh, there are flamethrowers in there. Grenades. I know what a bazooka is. <laughs> like flamethrower is. <laughs> <laughs> um. So 
actually, we're going to go ahead and call this episode... Or, yeah, we'll go ahead and call this episode here as you guys go through the trucks and start picking out weapons. Um, <laughs> this one's shiny. <laughs> so I got the shiny one. That means no one used it. So I am Ian, the storyteller, joined by Nappy Kitty. As Tommy. Envy Rose. Kita. Booter. Jackson. Vin. Cedric. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.